It's wonderful to be here with so many of my colleagues from across the province. And I'm hoping that my slides will be coming up momentarily, but in the meantime, I'll start by saying... There you go. There, there we go. Thank you. So um, I'm with the Com Canadian Community Economic Development Network, uh, usually more simply just called SEDNET. We are a national member-based association of several hundred community organizations and individuals, um, all working to create inclusive and sustainable local economic opportunities. So here you can see a few of our members' uh, logos. A number of you are in the room with us today. And so do consider joining us by becoming a member or signing up for our free uh, e-newsletters. So as social enterprise has become a more prevalent term across the nonprofit world, you've probably heard a great many anecdotes about the, and, of the, the great work that they're doing to help individual people. Um, I love to hear those stories. I love to share those stories. But we often also get asked the more difficult questions, the how many people are employed question, the what's the real impact question. Um, and any of you who have read my recent blog post on the ONN site know that we can now answer those questions. To give everyone a little bit more background, thanks to the Ontario Trillium Foundation support, Sednet Ontario knows a thing or two about the state of nonprofit social enterprise in the province because we recently conducted the Ontario 2012 Social Enterprise Survey. It was based on uh, Balta surveys that are being conducted in several other provinces, but we wanted to give it an Ontario twist, so we asked it some additional questions uh, about the challenges that social enterprises are facing and also the educational resources that they'd find helpful. How many, many non-profit social enterprises do you think exist in Ontario? Take a second to think. We identified over a thousand non-profit social enterprises and we know that that's nowhere near all of them at all. Uh, 363 of those 1,000 responded to our survey. As we made the connections, analyzed the data, and documented what we learned, we were really impressed by the impacts of the incredible change makers working in this space, in all of our communities. The title of the resulting report was inevitable, Inspiring Innovation. And then the more traditional tagline, the size, scope, and socioeconomic impact of nonprofit social enterprise in Ontario. This picture shows just a few of the significant points that we learned about social enterprise. But let me quick give you, quickly give you a few specific details, some of the numbers. In 2011, responding social enterprises generated over 140 million in sales. They employed more than 5,000 people, so they're creating jobs. And they trained over 66,000 people, preparing people for employment. Impressive as this accumulative uh, data is, people often tell me that they're really more interested in knowing the impact of individual social enterprises, the, the averages. Well, to know that information, you're going to have to come to our session this afternoon. Um, <laughs> or read the report that, uh, that, 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 that is being launched. Um, we viewed the data through a number of different lenses. We, uh, we, we looked at uh, poverty reduction, we looked at francophone communities, regional, urban, rural, and so on. And the report is able to break down um, through all of those, uh, th th those criteria. Um, we also thought it was important to set the context. So we, we talked a little bit about social enterprise within the social economy. We talked about government support of social enterprise. Um, obviously, the fact that we now have an office of social enterprise uh, in the province is, is, is significant. Um, and it was also really great to, uh, to, to see from, given that the Premier quoted one of our stats, we, we have obviously sent a preview of the report to the, uh, to, to the uh, government and it is being read, uh, which is great. Um, and in fact, when I hear the Premier talking, I almost wonder whether the report was, whether we need to do the report, uh, there's, there's uh, such a focus on social enterprise. 
um, but also, of course, the community supports the social enterprise in Ontario. And then we also looked at social finance, which we, we did by uh, interviewing stakeholders, uh, the people who are providing social finance. Our session this afternoon is called We're on the Map. And we'll be providing a solid overview of some of the important facts and themes in the report. But probably more important will be the interactive breakouts where you'll be able to uh, discuss the burning questions that you have that relate to social enterprises in your nonprofit or in your communities, and more significantly, um, talk about potential solutions for those, for those challenges. So we hope to see you later. And thank you so much to ONN for letting us launch the report at this wonderful event. Um, it will be available free for download from our, our site, um, but we also do have copies that we're going to be selling um, for $10 just to cover the, the, the print costs. So those uh, you can get in touch with us to, uh, to, to get the, uh, the beautiful edition. Um, What's next? So many of you have already received, in fact, a, a very short, much shorter survey. Um, if you're a social enterprise, at least, you should have received it. Um, we're trying to get social, the social enterprises onto the national marketplace and into an Ontario directory of social enterprises so that you're going to be able to connect with each other a lot more easily. And I know we were only allowed five slides and sneaking one more in because we have something else really uh, great to share with you. Um, ONN, Pillar, and Sednet have been working together to create a community-owned web space for uh, social enterprise called SE Ontario. Uh, this site will showcase social enterprises and share resources and a whole lot more. Um, there'll be a stakeholder launch in a couple of weeks, and we look forward to sharing it with you all. Thank you. Thank you.